Good day everybody, this is Jeff Toyson at Cutter Masters. We're going to show you our lineup of machines for this year. These are, machines are designed to be used by machinists on the shop floor for sharpening cutting tools. Here at Cutter Masters we specialize in tool grinders. Um, they're mostly manual tool grinders. We design them here. Some we have co-produced. In this case we're cooperating with a company in Taiwan called Cynic Precision. We've designed a line of combination drill and end mill sharpeners. Name of the machines is CS for combination sharpeners, DS for drill sharpeners, and ES for end mill sharpeners. In this case, here we have our end mill sharpener, which is called an ES520. The 5 stands for 5 millimeters, otherwise known as about 3 sixteenths, and 20 stands for 20 millimeters, otherwise known as about 3 quarters. We enhance the capacity of these machines so that they'd be more useful in North America. The 520 means going from 3 sixteenths to 3 quarters and really this machine will sharpen down to 1 eighth. The only difference is we put a little larger radius on the, on the grinding wheel so that the wheel would last longer with larger tools. A lot of people don't really sharpen too many small tools but this will sharpen down to 1 eighth we just put a little bit sharper wheel here. <clears throat> the ES line of machines comes in three configurations. There's the basic machine which is just end mills. There's an end mill and cutoff in which case we had a cutoff station on this side. There's end mill cutoff and corner radius in which, states, <clears throat> in which case we had end, um, cutoff and corner radius on the right hand side of the machine. All of our machines, you can tell because we've got this cabinet we produce for, for down below so you don't lose all your expensive machine parts, collets and wrenches and collet chucks. These machines use standard ER20 and 25 collets. If your machine goes to three quarter, it, it will come with an additional collet chuck which is an ER25. All of your collets are in a sealed plastic box in this cabinet. On the front of the end mill sharpeners you'll find this legend. This legend tells you what all the settings are for the machine, whether it's a two foot, three flute, four flute, or six flute end mill. All of these machines will give you a perfect corner and they'll give you a perfect center cutting geometry from, you know, from quarter up to three quarter. The ends are quite beautiful when they're finished and it's really it's a really it's a chuck it once and forget it type setup. So once a tool is time to the chuck you just position yourself through these stations and uh, cycle through them and you'll, you'll all your tools will be exactly the same. Timing chuck this is the port for back splitting this is what gives you the opportunity to center cut two flutes will cut past so you've got a continuous flute in the center and then it will clearance on like flutes two and four and that will give you center cutting capability the uh, back split shelf <coughs> is here. You, you, you cycle it through all four of the flutes and then you can go over to the secondary port which is the clearance port. Secondary grinds are just clearance so they're not that not that important as long as they're out of the way and you've got good um, lots of clearance around the center of the tool so you don't crowd your chips. On these machines, this is a three and four flute secondary port thing. We'll show you that in another picture. And this is for two flutes over here. These are just secondary grinds. All of the end mills come down here for the primary grind. Um, and you just, just cycle through the ports. On any of our combination sharpener machines or cynic machines, if the dial is red, that means it's a positioning element and you don't normally have to adjust it. So this just means that you can adjust it in case you want to move your center in the event a wheel comes in a few thousandths larger in diameter or something, which is very unusual.